New resolutions come and go and they're realistic. But with the three steps method I'm going to show you in this video, you can't go wrong. I call it the three double S method and it's so powerful and so simple. So keep watching. Hey, bonjour, I'm Hugo and I help busy professionals be more productive and get back in control of their own time. If this sounds like you, consider subscribing to this channel for videos twice a week, helping you to be more productive and get better with your time. Don't forget to ring the bell to get notifications every time I upload a new video. 2020 is a new year, a new decade full of possibilities and opportunities. I wish you the best in anything you may start or continue this year. I wish you to have all your rocks in your jar, reference to a video that you definitely need to watch, and that your rocks stay inside your jar no matter what. Today I want to share with you the three steps that you need to follow in order to implement new resolutions that really stick. So if you are tired of failing at your new resolutions year after year and you beating yourself up for that, then this video is definitely for you. You need to follow these important three steps of the three double S method. If you follow the first one or the second one only, then your new resolutions this year are going to fall flat once again. And I'm not saying that to judge you, it's just like that's what happens and that's very frequent. So the method is not called the one double S or the two double S, right? It's called the three double S method because you need the three steps. So make sure you stay until the end of the video. So let's deep dive into the three double S method to make your resolutions stick this year. The first double S stands for set smart goals. Your goals need to be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based. But you know that, right? You know that from this video. If you haven't watched this video, I really recommend you watch it first because today we're gonna go even deeper in the smart goal methodology. Because if you want a new resolution that sticks, you need to go a little bit deeper than just setting your end goal, right? The trick is not only to set your goals on your end goal, but on the steps that will lead you to achieve this end goal. In other words, your goals should not be on the results, but on the actions that will lead to the results. Do you get it? It's very important. For example, do not set a goal to lose 20 pounds in the next three months. Maybe that's the transformation that you seek, but instead set a goal to do cardio 45 minutes three times a week and reduce carbs to one meal a day. That is much more specific and much more action oriented that will lead to having, reaching the transformation that you're seeking. But at least you can really monitor against your progress. It's much easier to track along the way because it's binary. Either you go to the gym or you don't go to the gym. So that if you're falling behind, you still have time to take a corrective action to help you stick to your resolution. You have more information in this two minutes video right here where I talk about how to monitor the progress of your goals in order to ensure that you're going to reach your goal. It's important that you watch this video because there is a subtlety that I explain in that video that is very important for you to understand. Okay, so that was only the first step of the three double S method. I hope you're still with me. Because setting smart goals is a good first step, but without following the step two and three, you will not have the result on whatever your new resolutions are. So moving on to the step two. The second double S stands for start Small. Maybe you have resolutions for a month or two on the very short-term goals. That's okay. But hopefully, you're not looking at building habits just for this year. You're working towards building habit for a lifetime. So if you're aiming at sustainability of the results, it doesn't matter 
how small you start. It's actually better and easier as you're here for the long game and the effect will compound over time. What really matters at this point is that you start. Momentum is always harder to create than to sustain. So ask yourself the question, what is the smallest action that I can take towards that goal? How small can I do something that will seem so insignificant that I cannot not do it? If you wanna start meditating every day, I dare you to start meditating 30 seconds every single day for a month. You don't have any excuse not to do it. You cannot say I don't have 30 seconds. I was talking to my friend Prince earlier uh, this week and he was telling me about his new resolution. His new resolution is to go do cardio 20 minutes on the treadmill every single day because he knows that he always have 20 minutes every day. He knows that he doesn't have the excuse to say that he doesn't have 20 minutes for something that is important for him. So if you can do this smaller step continuously and increase increment, that's how you successfully build a habit that stick and that will bring you results. So once you set your smart goals and you start small, ridiculously small. The question now is how you make sure that you keep going and you're not backsliding. That's actually a good segue for the third step of the three double S method. The third double S stands for sustain with a system. Don't think that the bump in motivation is going to carry you throughout the year or beyond that. That's not going to happen. So you need to build a system that will allow you to mitigate that motivation drops that comes around before end of January usually. I know. The thing is, motivation is what gets you started. Habits is what gets you going. And when it comes to systems, I have a few I want to present you right now. That works for me, but you need to just test them out and see what works for you. I have three systems that I would like you to try. The first system is to design your environment to help you sustain your goal. You need to remove friction between you and doing the activity that you set for yourself. If you decide to take vitamins every morning, for example, remove the vitamins from the drawer where you can't see it and place it on the counter so that you can see it every morning and that gives you a reminder that you need to take that pill. Another example is that if you decide to wake up at 6 in the morning, put your alarm clock at 6 in the morning and put your phone out of reach so that you have to get up out of your bed to stop the alarm clock. Once you're up, you're not going to go back to bed, right? We have also a bunch of habit trackers apps that you can download and that you can put on your smartphone to help you track your habits. Just be creative to remove frictions between you and your success. And it's twofold. You can create friction also on the things that you want to stop doing so that it makes it more difficult for you to do these things. The second system that I use is to get an accountability partner. One way to create accountability is to write your goals or your resolutions somewhere visible to other people, like a comment on a YouTube video, like this one, for example. Just write in the comments, what are your resolutions this year? I really would like to know. So write them down so that you're accountable for it in front of everyone. How does it sound? If you're truly serious about your resolutions, it's not a problem to write it down and to let us know, right? Also find someone in your entourage that has a similar goal to you and be accountability partners. The cool thing about having an accountability partner is that sometimes you can be okay with being disappointed with yourself, but you don't want to disappoint others. The third system that you can use to sustain your resolution throughout time is to use the two days rule. That's a rule I got from Matt Diavela, his awesome YouTuber that I have been following for a while now. And he talks about the two days rule, which is basically do not break a habit streak two days in a row. If you break the streak on anything that you want to implement, 
and that's going to happen, I know. And that's okay. Don't be too hard on yourself and correct it the day after. Do not allow yourself to break the streak more than one day because unfortunately it's a slippery slope from there. So to sum up, the 3 S method to help you make your resolutions stick this year, set smart goals, start small and sustain with a system. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope that it helped you and thank you for trusting me with your time. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like and share it on your favorite social media, whether it's LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And you can also stick around and watch more videos. Thank you, merci, au revoir.